So what I eat in a day is grocery hauls, um, what's for dinner, types, uh, those types of things. So over the last uh, several years, I've lost 85 pounds. I'm currently on a health journey to lose 25 more, but in the process, I'm trying to stay motivated and make sure that I stay dedicated to continuing my health journey. But not just that, I also am trying to learn how to love myself the way that I am and not just chase for that number on the scale, but focus on health and how I'm feeling and those types of things too. So if you're interested in seeing those types of things, make sure you stick around. Excuse my kind of crazy look. I went to church this morning and just changed into some um, comfy clothes. So anyways, that's why I look like this right now. Um, so today, basically what I'm going to be doing is a what's for dinner. I'm going to show you how to make my low carb, low calorie buffalo chicken quesadilla. It's so delicious. You don't even know that it's low calorie. You don't feel like it's low carb. It feels like a treat and it's super easy to make. This is something that I've really been loving for late night dinners that maybe I um, just had an exhausting day and I didn't have time to spend a lot of money, a lot of time making it for myself um, but it's something that I can put together really quickly it is pretty budget friendly it's pretty cheap um, I can pop those prices down at the end to tell you how much it costs as well um, but it's very very easy um, so anyways, if you're interested in seeing what this looks like then stick around all right guys so these are the things that you need to make this quesadilla you need some olive oil cooking spray um, or just any type of cooking spray. I'm using the um, carb counter tortillas. These only have 45 calories and they only have four net carbs. There are all kinds of different brands, but this is the lowest calorie that I have um, seen and it actually tastes really good. Um, can't tell much of a difference between these and regular tortillas. Then I'm using some light Trader Joe's mozzarella cheese. I'm using some buffalo chicken dip from Trader Joe's. I use some Tony Sacheries to season my chicken breast. And then this is everything I have measured out. So I have a half a cup of the light cheese, two tablespoons of the um, buffalo chicken dip, one of the Happy Farms um, little cream cheese. I didn't have this over there, but um, this is just like Aldi brand Laughing Cow and it's the original, so it has 50 calories. It's not the light. Um, and then this is two ounces of chicken breast cooked with uh, Tony Sacheries and just some um, olive oil spray. I just cooked it in a pan and then I just, um, tore it up into like little pieces for my quesadilla. So stick around and I will show you what it's gonna look like. This is a good angle where you can kind of see everything that I'm doing. But basically I'm gonna start out with one tortilla. Forget to grab the plate. Let me grab that really quickly. Those probably isn't the best, but I am going to just use paper plates today. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna take my little pizza cutter and I'm going to cut this tortilla. Didn't get that quite right. Okay, so I cut my tortilla. I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan. I'm just putting it over medium heat. Again, I'm using this olive oil cooking spray. I did forget a knife, so I'm gonna grab that for my I'm going to go ahead and take one side and spread on my, ah, sorry guys. I'm gonna spread on my Laughing Cow cheese. I just spread all of it onto one side. Um, I think it'd be totally fine if you spread it on both sides, but I'll just quickly try to spread all of it onto the one side while my pan's heating up. I'd love to hear some of the things that you all uh, use Laughing Cow Cheese for in the comments. I have tried it on um, sandwiches, like instead of using as much mayonnaise, I may still use a little bit of light mayonnaise, but I'll put it on there instead of that. Sometimes I'll put it on my wraps. Now I'm using it on my quesadillas, I love it. So if you have something that you use it on, please let me know down below so that way I can maybe try it out sometime. Okay, I know that I've already shown you all what I have on my little plate here. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the mozzarella 
just to kind of help that chicken stick whenever I put it on there. Um, and guys, this mozzarella is so low calorie. You could absolutely use more than this if you have a few extra calories to spend on this meal. You could absolutely use more than the two servings. Um, for me, this is gonna be like a, it's I'm only using one tortilla, so it's kind of like a half of one. Um, you can also absolutely, you know, make a bigger one. Just for me, I like to make it a little smaller and just put all the cheese on one side because it just makes it taste better to me because it's got, it's even cheesier than if you make a big one. If you're still trying to keep those calories low. Um, you could even use less chicken, but um, I do like to get quite a bit of protein in, so I'm glad that I'm using this amount. If I made a bigger one, I would for sure use more than two ounces of chicken, but with only doing like this half one, if I do more than two ounces of chicken, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to keep it together. So I'm just putting this in here. If you have never tried the Tommy Sacheries that I was showing you a minute ago, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's absolutely delicious. And that's literally all I put on the chicken. I didn't even put any salt or anything because it already has the salt and the seasoning. And even though I have cooked for forever and I've taught culinary in the past, if you've seen my other videos, you probably know that. Um, but even though I've done that, I only tried Tony Sachery's like within the last year. And oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it on chicken. Um, and I literally, like I said, I just do that and I don't put anything else on there. Okay guys, so I forgot to get a spoon out, of course. So I'm just gonna use my butter knife and just kind of spread this out. Um, and if you don't like it really hot, you could obviously skip that Tony Sachery's and skip the buffalo chicken and just do like, maybe add some mushrooms or maybe some bacon bits or something and just do like a chicken and cheese quesadilla. But I love this buffalo chicken dip. And buffalo chicken like flavored things are not even my favorite, but this buffalo chicken dip from Trader Joe's is an absolute game changer. It's so good. To me, it's not that hot. Um, I did let my parents try some and they're like, oh my gosh, Sydney, that's so hot. So if you don't really like spicy things, you may think it's kind of hot, but for me, it's just kind of a mild um, spice and I think that it's really good. So guys, I'm going to transition you so you can see it over here. All right, guys, once your cheese starts to crisp up on the side, you can definitely go ahead and flip that. So I'll show you what it looks like after I flip it. Hey okay, guys, so it's really looking good. Um, I only cooked it for like two minutes on that side. Kind of depends on your stove for how long that you actually need to cook it. Um, but I cooked about two minutes on each side. Um, and then um, I'm going to take it off and cut it and I'll show you what the final product looks like. Hey guys, so this looks absolutely delicious. Um, I'm gonna try to cut this one in. Good. my pizza cutter isn't super super sharp so let's see hopefully it's cheesy mm. yum so delicious I'm telling you guys if you have not tried this you're missing out you really should try it so again 335 calories I'm gonna double check on those carbs and I will pop them up on the screen but it is low carb so um, let me know down in the comments if you do try it out and if you like it but anyways, um, see you guys later. if not even the buffalo chicken quesadilla maybe it'll kind of give you some ideas for other quesadillas another one I really like to make is a pizza quesadilla I use either sauteed mushrooms or canned mushrooms that are drained and then I use mozzarella cheese bacon bits pepperonis and it's so good sometimes I'll dip it in some um, tomato sauce or some uh, homemade marinara so hopefully that kind of sparks some ideas for you and some healthy things that you can make that are really quick and they're not freezer meals they're hot and they're ready to go um in, within about five minutes or so so anyways uh don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, i hope that you will stick around to see new videos see you later